The day I'm filming this is July 8th, 2020, and my birthday is in two days when I'll be turning 26. Happy birthday to me. And my birthday gift just arrived. So I wanted to open it because I'm really excited and I need to share this excitement with somebody. <sighs> it's a lot lighter than I expected. Receipt, probably should keep that. Do you see what that says? Do you see what that says? This is the Canon EOS R5 with the uh, 24 to 105 millimeter f4 kit lens. I'm gonna cry later. Definitely gonna cry. I'm so excited. Let's get into this thing. <laughs> Hi y'all, it's Annalise, and like I said, this is my birthday gift. It is the one of the biggest deals that I've ever had at, uh, as a gift. It is partially from myself and partially from my mom, so thank you, mom, for the wonderful gift. And I've just been eyeing this camera as a lot of photographers have for like the last year and a half it's been out or something like that. And long story short, I didn't think I was going to get this camera, if ever, or for a long time. And then one thing led to another and here we are i'm so excited i'm so excited this is a full frame mirrorless camera there's just there's so many cool specs about it there's so many cool features but i'll save that for the review i guess or a more in-depth video i just want to open this thing up and take a look at it and like i said share the excitement with somebody because i'm really freaking excited i need to document this because this is the biggest camera upgrade i've ever had and this is just going to change so many things. Like, I'm just, I'm just so excited. Okay. Ooh. Also, it's kind of weird. Uh, well, one, I was able to order this like four days ago. It sold out everywhere. You like can't find it. And then I go on B&H and not only do they have expedited shipping that would arrive before my birthday, but it was also free. So if I would have chosen the regular shipping, I would have had to pay $12. I'm not complaining. So up top, we've got warranty information I'll go through later, a instruction manual, which unlike in my find video, I will eventually read this. <laughs> we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable with this weird, there's like this like, do you see that thing in there? What is that? It's like, oh, I shouldn't open it. That's mine now. Oh, is this like a cable management system that goes on the camera? Cause that's what it looks like. Is this is USB-C to USB-C. Can always use one of those. But this has like, this has like a screw on it and like little holes. It, it makes me think that this is like a cable management and that fits like perfectly snugly in there. Then we've got the battery, which if I'm not mistaken. That's the same battery, baby. LPE6. LPE6 NH. I'm pretty sure this is the same battery. And if that's the case, I'm so excited as my ADD because then I have three batteries. It's got more milliamps in it. I don't know, we will cross that bridge later. Ooh, and then another charger. We love to see it. This is gonna be a great unboxing camera or a second camera. The possibilities are endless, folks. I'm not getting rid of this thing, by the way. One, I have too much object attachment, but secondly, I have so many uses for it. Oh, so not exciting. What's this? Oh, it comes with a lens hood? Why am I so excited about that? Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, is this a bag for the lens? Oh, cause it's a freaking RF lens. Okay, so the mount on this camera is an RF mount compared to the EF mount that's on my ADD as well as my T5. Yeah, T5i. And so the lenses won't fit right now, but I'm going to be ordering the EF to RF mount adapter, but those are also extremely out of stock. So uh, when I order it, whenever that is, it'll show up in like three weeks. Wow, that's swanky, dude. That's actually really nice. This is like a thick, look at that. Look at that, it is like, it's got like a thick leather bottom. It's got like this nice, I don't even know how to explain that. A little drawstring. Ooh girl and a freaking lens hood it's amazing i've i literally was like i had a dream about getting a lens hood last night i was like hmm, should i get a lens hood because i've never used that in my own personal photography work when i worked at disney world and was a photo pass photographer i'd use lens hoods all the time and i still don't entirely understand the the benefit of them besides from not breaking the glass on your camera but i like this option yay and then on 
This is a thin camera strap. Oh, and it even says R5 on it. <laughs> Focus, please. Ooh, look at her. She's fancy. She's fancy. A cute headband. I mean, obviously, unboxings, you want to go through all the details in the box, but I feel like I'm almost like <laughs> stalling because I'm too excited. <laughs> What first? What first? Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go for the lens first. Oh, that's heavy. <gasps> My hands are shaking. <laughs> oh my god. Unlock. This is insane. Oh, look at that. This is an L series? I feel like I knew that, but I don't think I really knew that. This is the most expensive lens I now own. Wow, look it, it's got the red ring. That's what photographers always talk about is the red ring. Look at Ooh. Whoa. Oh my yeah, this is this is insane. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, what's this? What's that for? There's like a there's like a jack here. What's that for? That's definitely Oh, that's duh. The buttons on the camera to get the lens off the camera. Whoa, okay. Whoa, this is weird. So the movie recording buttons on the top. That's kind of nice. I appreciate that. There's a little joystick. Oh, you see it? Oh. I have two card slots. One is for a CF Express card, which are those big honkers. Look at that. And one for an SD card. This is so, this handles so nicely. Black shirt was the wrong color to wear today. <laughs> HDMI? There's an HDMI input. Mini HDMI down here. Also, is this a glow in the dark button? Cause I, okay, this, I don't think that's a glow in the dark button, but that looks like it's glow in the dark green. I don't think it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I want to put the lens on. Okay, I wish I could do this up where you could see. I'll go over here. The lens is like four times heavier than the camera. This is massive. <laughs> the body of the camera is so small, but the lens is freaking huge. Okay, of course. Get the flippy screen. I'm a YouTuber first. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, the battery's probably dead. So anticlimactic. Okay, I'm gonna try one of my batteries. Please work. Please. It fits. It fits. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. So, how do I... Oh, this one... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so on my camera, there's a button to switch from the screen to the viewfinder. Here, if you just put your eye up to it... I'm looking through this now. Oh my god. <gasps> this is unreal. The focus is... Absurd. <laughs> I can't wait to use it. <laughs> That's crazy. Hold on, I need to put an SD card in here. Ooh, we get to do time and date. Oh, it says London on there as the default. Look at that. That's where I'm moving to if you didn't know. Let me just, let me, let me do this. All right. <laughs> well, why, why are you no clicky? Whoa. Oh, I should change, oh, how do I change the mode? <gasps> That's unreal. I can see every detail in my freaking eye eyeball. Oh my God. I have so much playing around to do. You know, when I get excited, I either go way up here or I'm just like, and right now I'm very much like, and this has just become me playing around with my new camera for 20 minutes straight and trying to figure out how to use this thing because this is this is wild. Yeah, I need it. I need to go through so many settings. I need to figure out. I need to figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> Look how weird this is. It's like a button, and then that's how you switch the modes. There you are. Wait. So can I? Huh? How do I? How do I change? Something's coming. It's a freaking learning curve. Whoa. Okay, I need to. <gasps> What's this? No, nope, nothing. I am so overwhelmed. 
as I sit here playing with this camera more and more, I realize that I should probably just go sit in the corner for a couple hours and figure out how to use this freaking thing. So that's going to be it for my unboxing. Thank you for hanging out with me and being here to help me celebrate my excitement of this really amazing, I think I'm just in awe, but a really amazing piece of technology that I'm so grateful to have. And the way that I was able to fund this was through my YouTube channel, through my Patreon support. So like not to do like a little ad, but like thank you so much to everybody who is subscribed to my channel and watches my videos because my ad revenue, my Patreon supporters, which these are all my top tier Patreon supporters, these people help contribute to things like this so I can make better content, make cool videos, upgrade, like that my Patreon supporters of past, present, and future are so important to me. So thank you to this lovely group of people and anybody who is currently a part of my Patreon or whoever has been, because thanks to your such generous support, I was able to get something amazing like this and like make a really big dream of mine come true. So if you've ever watched one of my videos before, you helped me get some AdSense in some way to work towards something like this. So I thank you. Wasn't expecting this to get sentimental or like so crazy low energy because I'm just so like overwhelmed, but um, th that's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> I will report back soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!